In this video, we're going to take a look at some ideas on uh, and some additional on-shape tools for creating the shoe sole. All right, so uh, the first thing we're going to look at is um, patterning. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to take the uh, copy of the shoe sole that they gave us, and we're going to simply um, sketch on that sole. And I'm just going to do something very generic here, so nothing fancy. And I'm just going to say, uh, maybe put just like a little arc here, maybe something like that, and then something like so. Looks good, just like that. All right, so that should be good. Um, we can go ahead and project geometry, which means is I just want to use the outer edge of this line. So I'll click on that, and then you can see that the um, outside of the shoe sole is now inside of our sketch. And I'm going to trim off anything I don't want, so I'll trim that off, trim that off, and that off. So all I really want is this little guy right here. So good enough. All right, so what I'm going to do now is instead of trying to draw a million of these all over this shoe sole, I'm going to use a patterning feature. The patterning feature that we're going to want to use is called a curve pattern and it's located underneath this linear pattern button here so we're going to go ahead and click on curve pattern and when the dialog pops up the first thing it says is part pattern um, i don't really want to pattern the entire part i want to pattern just a, a single like feature of that part so we're going to change that to feature pattern and the feature that we want to pattern uh, is going to be this little guy here the tread and the path that we're going to pattern along is going to be this curve and so um, we can uh, choose the curve and then you'll see that the kind of the curve kind of goes off the edge here. It's uh, it's not liking that the, the curve leaves the part because we have this uh, kind of narrowing in up here at the top. So what we're going to do is click on apply per instance, and you'll see that that kind of ends us wherever it starts to go off of the part. It ends with the tread right there. So uh, instance count, we can put as many treads as we want. We'll try four. I don't know. We'll try five. Yeah, that looks good. So we're going to leave it at five, and I'm going to go ahead and hit the green check. So now I have kind of like one half of the shoe done or you can put more in there or whatever you want you can even put some other stuff here in the middle uh, but I, for right now like you'll see what we're going to do here but um, I would I would only work on one side of the uh, of the shoe sole side so we're going to be using what's called the mirror tool and this is a pretty simple one it's basically take what's on this side uh, across a, a dividing line or a dividing plane and just copy it to the other side so uh, in this case I actually am going to leave it as a part mirror um, and it just makes it a little bit easier on this one but the entities that I want to mirror I'm just going to click on the part and the mirror plane is going to be actually the right plane which in this case is hidden uh, but when the creator of the shoe sole document created this they they made it with the right plane directly down the center which is helpful for us if it wasn't there if it wasn't that way we would have to put a plane in the correct spot but it's already there all we need to do is uh, unhide it so we're going to click show right and then you can see there's the right plane so for the mirror plane I'm going to choose that and then you'll see that all of our uh, treads show up on the other side so that is uh, a handy little way to create some uh, treads that follow a uh, kind of an irregular curve there and then, uh, and then be able to mirror that to the other side so uh, just one idea for you you can make your treads look however you want so the second idea it's going to use some additional tools here. So I'm going to just kind of work on the bottom half of the sole here for this one. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch there. And essentially, all I'm going to do is just like take and just go straight across and then escape. And then we'll do uh, project geometry at the bottom. That's good. And then I don't need the top. So I'm just going to click that off. There you go. OK, so that looks good. All I'm going to do is work on this space down here. So we're going to uh, green check. And then what I want to do is I just want to extrude this up a little bit. So I'll show you. I just want to bring that up, maybe make a little sole there, so 0.5. That's fine. Okay. And then now we just kind of thicken this up a little bit. All right. And now what I'm going to do is, again, I'm, I'm going to uh, just be very generic with this to kind of give you the, the idea, and then you can do whatever design you want. So uh, I created a sketch here on the shoe sole, and uh, sketch plane is going to be here. And we're going to draw on this. So, and you have to follow along here, but I'm just going to do uh, kind of a... Uh, kind of a wavy line if that makes sense something like that that looks good and I'm gonna make sure to uh, extend this so that it, it completely clears the the rest of the sole because uh, we're kind of narrow up here I don't want to focus on just this area I want to go all the way across the shoe okay then I'm gonna use the offset tool and I'm gonna click that and click that and it's basically just gonna copy the line but add an offset so in this case it's 0.25 and that's fine I'm just gonna leave it there so I'll left click and then hit enter for the 0.25 and then we're going to just close this up. So I'm going to put that there, do another line here, and now it's a closed shape. The final thing that we'll need to do in our sketch is add a vertical line just right there. I'm not going to do anything with it other than, or we will a little bit later, but I just need a vertical line there. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the sketch, and then I'm going to use an extrusion, and I'm going to cut this down into the material. So I'm going to click on Remove, and then I want to select that region inside there. But I also want to select out here 
and out here. And then you'll see that as of right now with the distance, it cuts it one inch. So we don't want to go that much, but maybe like um, 0.2. Let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. 0.2. We're going to leave it at 0.2. All right. So you'll see that we cut this little tread into uh, the, the shoe sole. And then what I'm going to do now is I use another patterning feature, this time a linear pattern, to uh, replicate that down uh, across the rest of the sole. And uh, so we're going to change back to a linear pattern. And it says the entities to pattern. Again, we're going to choose a feature pattern uh, because all I want to take across is this little feature. But I'm going to take extrusion four. That's going to be what I want to copy what I want to pattern. And the direction, uh, if you remember, we drew the little vertical line. So the sketch you can't see anymore, but we're going to go ahead and turn it back on so you can see it make it visible again. And then the direction is going to be this line. Okay, so you can see here that it's starting to pattern, uh, but it looks like it only patterned the, the middle piece. So what I'm going to do is click on apply per instance, which is going to take it basically anything that's touching the part is going to cut. And then uh, we can add as many as we want. So if we say five, make that maybe four, I don't know, as many as you want. Distance is uh, one inch in between each one, so maybe we shorten that up. You can see that, maybe it's too much. 0.75, yeah, that's fine, that looks good for now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay, and then there you can see we've got another tread uh, put that way. And so we can do that to going you know, horizontally, we could also add some vertically if you wanted, but uh, at least this gives you an idea on uh, what that looks like. So two different patterning uh, tools there, the uh, patterning circular, curve pattern, and then also the linear um, pattern, as well as the mirroring tool. So just a few ideas for you, good luck. Can't wait to see what you create.